Hello, and welcome to this short tutorial on installing and setting up Jamulus for PC or Mac. The first thing you're going to do is go to your favorite browser of choice and download Jamulus. I will put links for these two websites in the description of the video below. Um, however, you can just uh, Google Jamulus, and it's the first uh, the first website that comes up and it's hosted on this site called sourceforge.net and the screen looks like this. Uh, so once we get there we're going to click download Jamulus. It takes us to a separate page within SourceForge where it will start to download. No need to press anything. And there it is down at the bottom. It's a relatively small file so it should download quickly. And once it does we click and this is why I wanted to show you the install process. Uh, Jamulus and um, its developer uh, are both um, somewhat unknown. Um, and so because of that, uh, Windows is, uh, might attempt to stop you from downloading this. Now, this is a warning that you shouldn't ignore. Uh, if you see it for programs, you should immediately uh, head to Google and, um, and find out a little bit more about it. Um, but having already done that and knowing many people that have downloaded this, um, I'm going to go ahead and click more info and then I'm going to click run anyway. And we agree and we install. And once it's done, we close. And if you are on a Mac, you can stop right here and ignore me for the next minute. If you're on PC, we need to go one extra step and we need to download this other program called ASIO for All. Essentially what ASIO does um, is it takes control of what your microphone and your speakers, your in and your out are going to be and delivers that information um, in a, in a tidier way <laughs> to Jamulus. Um, and it is required. Um, it's not required for Mac um, because uh, it's um, integrated into the technology of a Mac. Uh, so we are going to click download. It's an even smaller program. It's minuscule, so it will download instantaneously. Again, we click yes. We start our setup. Um, you really just need this first option up here. These other two are not really necessary. And in fact, the developer has called in this, the description to the right has called this last one useless. <laughs> so we're going to click next, choose our folder, and that's it. It's done. So once we have those two things downloaded, we are going to come out here and we're going to open up Jamulus. Uh, so if you are on a Mac, you can follow me now by opening up Jamulus. And here we go. It's, um, it's a small program. Uh, it's a basic program, uh, but it has everything you need right here. And we're going to click on settings first. Okay. Now this is where it might start to get a little confusing, um, but I promise you it's not. <laughs> um, so the first thing we're going to look at is this sound card over here. Um, obviously, we're dealing with sound, and so we need to tell uh, Jamulus what we want our microphone and our speakers to be. Now, for Mac users, um, you are just going to choose uh, your integrated devices or whichever device uh, you have. If you have an external microphone or um, an external sound card, um, but you're going to choose the devices that are right for you. Uh, just remember that in is your microphone and out is your speakers. Now, uh, for PC users, uh, you instead are going to choose this ASIO for all. It's right here. We're going to click on it. And then we need to go into this setup down here, ASIO setup. Again, only for PC users, not for Mac. And this is um, an equally uh, small and bare bones program. And we are going to only momentarily uh, click the advanced options here. And the reason we're going to do that is not because we want to mess with anything over here, because we really don't want to worry about that. 
at least not if we uh, if if we run into any troubles we need to use some of these options over here potentially but honestly i wouldn't worry about it the reason that we needed to click on the advanced options is so that take a look right over here we can get some plus signs so that we can really make sure that we're using uh, the technology that we want to this first option right here uh, is Real Tech Audio. Now, by the way, this list will look different for you um, because you don't have the exact same technology that I do. Um, all of your options for both microphones and speakers will be present right in this list here. And we're going to click on this button and you can see that Real Tech um, allows us some different options. It gives us three different kinds of input and then it gives us one output. Now, your output is your speakers, and we're gonna to continue to use Realtek for our speakers. Um, and But I want to use a different microphone, and so I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to click on my webcam. Now notice how my webcam doesn't have a little plus button by it, and the reason is, is that it's only an in-device. It only has a microphone. It doesn't have a set of speakers. Um, so if you um, have a device uh, that has only one function to it, you won't see a plus sign because there's no need for you to uh, be specific about how you want your audio routed. Once you have those two things picked, um, if you uh, want to not be bothered by those extra settings, you can click back to the um, simple options. And the last thing that I want to talk about is this slider right here. Notice how we have this blue slider which can move and this other one that can't. Uh, the other one is our target zone that we want to put ourselves in the middle of. Now as you can notice we landed on 128 and then take a look right up here. We're going to go back into Jamula settings, and so Mac users, pay attention. Uh, and that 128 matches right up with where we are right here. And in terms of all we need for ASIO, that is it for now, unless we run into issues. So I'm going to close out the settings for this and then deal with the last few settings that we need in Jamulus, okay? Down here is the buffer delay um, to the bottom left of these settings. The buffer delay essentially means the time that you are going to give uh, your computer, for simplicity's sake, your computer to gather information and send it on out. We want that to be as low as possible. Um, however, um, depending on your, uh, your setup, whether it be uh, your internet connection uh, or your processing ability of your computer, um, you may need it to be a little larger. And honestly, the difference between 2.67 milliseconds and 5.33 milliseconds is almost indistinguishable. So do not uh, worry if you need to choose um, a higher setting but for this you want the lowest possible delay. These are milliseconds. Um, and so let's just keep it on 128 for now. Um, and then we're going to go over here and take a look. Jitter buffer, auto, don't worry about it. Let's go over to the right hand side here and we have audio channels. I have this set on mono um, and then there are, there are two other options, mono in and stereo out, which means you're going to send in one signal and then Jamulus will split it into two to create sort of a stereo effect. And then you have full on stereo where it's gonna take in two sounds and, and, and send out two sounds. Now, before when I talked about needing time for your computer to process and send information, um, the more complicated the information, the more time it's going to need. And so I keep it on mono um, because uh, it's, uh, it's completely fine. And I think that's going to be the best bet for us. However, um, if you want to explore these other two options, just know that it might cause you to have a little bit more of a delay. And, and if your computer is not being given enough time, you might start to hear some crackles in your sound and you'll need to fix that. 
Uh, so we're going to stick on mono for now. Auto quality, again, same thing as the audio channels. Um, you, um, the default is normal. If you're having uh, trouble and you want to sort of simplify the sound, go to low. Um, if you're having no issues at all, you can move it up to high. Um, these three settings, um, low does not sound terrible. Um, so again, don't worry. Uh, just like the, the buffer delay over here on the left-hand side, um, the difference between these three is noticeable, but not incredibly. So if you need to be on low, it's totally fine, but we're going to keep ourselves on normal. Skin. What does skin fancy mean? Well, it really just means the look of our Jamulus over here. And yes, believe it or not, that is the fancy look. Um, we are going to leave everything else alone, and we're ready to connect to a server. So I'm going to close out these settings. And I'm going to go over here and click Connect. Now, all of a sudden, you can see on my screen, I have a list of servers. And uh, these servers are different public servers uh, throughout this part of the US. Um, you can see we have um, a Seattle server, which is where I am here. Uh, we've got one that's a little bit uh, north of us in Vancouver. And you can kind of keep scrolling down and you can see that eventually, um, I'm trying to see, oh, okay. We've got one all the way in Dallas, Texas. And so you can connect uh, to uh, servers that are pretty far away from you. Um, but obviously take a look at this ping time here, um, nine milliseconds to uh, connect to a server that's essentially local uh, versus 70 milliseconds to be down here with uh, the Dallas server. Although considering that's um, a decent way across the country, I would say more than halfway because it's diagonal, um, that's still a pretty decent amount of time but certainly noticeable. So we are going to collect, uh, connect to this Seattle Music Alliance. So we're going to select it and we're going to click connect. Now, once we do, uh, this lets us know, uh, opens up a little chat window and um, it talks about um, uh, this other program uh, similar to Zoom called Jitsi Meet. Um, talk about that another time though. Um, but this is just normally a welcome message or you can also use it to chat as well too. Um, you can thank whoever uh, for use of the server uh, or you can just leave it blank. Now it's important to know this is a public server um, and so at this moment, um, at any time, <laughs> someone could come in and join us. Um, I've had it happen to me uh, while I was trying to work on some settings. And honestly, someone just hangs around for a minute and then probably goes on their own way and um, you can mute them so that you can't hear them and uh, you can go about your business. Um, however, um, we are going to be connecting to a private server, uh, but I'll tell you more about that in just a second. So as you can see, as I'm talking, uh, these levels right here are going up and down. You're going to want to make sure that you can see that once you have everything connected. That means that you are sending some sort of signal. Um, if you really don't want to hear yourself, you can mute yourself. Um, that, that actually um, applies to not only you hearing yourself, but everyone hearing you. And so let's say you're connected, you're getting ready for a, a rehearsal, um, but you want to essentially um, mute um, your sound so that no one can um, hear that last minute conversation that you have going. You just simply click that and then it gives you that little warning message up at the top that others will not hear. You can go back out um, and then here is reverb you can push this all the way up if you want to have some fun but you should probably keep it for the most part down um, as, as far as you can or close to it and then this over here this is your personal mixer um, now once other people were to join us you would see other mixers and with them you could control uh, the volume um, of uh, of their input to you or their, their output to you. Um, so you can make them softer or louder depending on 
uh, your preference. And then this is your slide here. You're going to want your slide all the way down um, so that this way you aren't hearing yourself in the middle of the practice. Um, however, if you have microphones, uh, I'm sorry, if you have headphones rather, um, that block out a decent amount of sound and you need to hear yourself uh, singing or playing, you can push this up a little bit, um, but I'd suggest putting it down. Um, and then uh, that's uh, pretty much it. That's all, all you're uh, going to need to know. Um, these options down here are kind of self-explanatory. Um, if you uh, want to hear only one person by themselves, you're going to click solo. If you want to hear a couple people by themselves, you're going to, you can add them to your solo as well too. And then you'd hear just that certain group of people and not others. Um, if you wanted to mute someone, um, uh, you just simply click that button and then all of a sudden you won't hear them anymore. Of course, I just muted myself. Um, but uh, you can do that with others as well too. And then I'm fairly certain that this group function is just if you wanted to um, add people to uh, a, a group, but uh, we're not going to really worry about that right now. Um, and so that's pretty much it. Oh, I did want to show you. Um, so when we, I'm going to disconnect out of the server and then I'm going to connect back in again. Um, I showed you over here um, all of the public server options. Um, you can also type in a very specific address, and it's an address um, that um, if you um, are going to be joining our server, either for lessons or for rehearsals, uh, we'll give you this information right here. Um, this isn't the number. <laughs> this is just um, my local address. Uh, you probably have um, a piece of technology in your house that has the exact same address on your uh, local um, router. And uh, so, But you would type this address in down here, and then what's really nice is that it saves the address for you. And so if you ever want to connect to us again, there's a little drop-down menu here that will give you some of your, um, uh, or all of your used um, addresses. And then once you connected to that, um, you would be in a server that um, is sort of an invite-only server um, that, that wouldn't appear in this list. And, um, and no one else could join. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, th there may be um, slight circumstances where, where troubles might arise. Um, and if so, please feel free to reach out and we'll do our best to walk you through that. Um, but that's everything for now. Uh, thank you so much and um, hope to be hearing you soon.